Yes, fish fans, welcome to another how-to, and this is how to use a throwing stick. So let's have a quick look at what a throwing stick is. So a throwing stick is a tool that is designed for putting boilies out um, at a longer range than what you can get with a catapult. Now there's many of them around. We do two, we do a 20 mil one, a 26 mil one. Obviously the sizes depend on the size of boilie you're using. What they are is a cylindrical tube and the tube has a bend at the end. Now what the bend is for is when you throw a boilie through it and the boilie is heading up the tube, it hits the curve and it causes backspin. Now what that does is it means the boilie flies straighter and it also goes further. So why would I use a throwing stick and when would I use a throwing stick? So if I'm fishing boilies and boilie only, then the throwing stick is a great tool for putting boilies out from ranges, anything over 60 yards. You can put really big boilies that are very, very hard at least 120 yards. The problem with a throwing stick is accuracy and it takes quite a while for you to become nice and accurate with using one. But again, it's a little bit like casting. The more you do it, the more accurate you're going to get. I would tend to use a throwing stick when I'm fishing, say, chods over the top or something because you want to create a nice big spread of bait. They're not super accurate like a catapult or a spod. They give you a really big spread and if you're putting a lot of bait out, you can get a lot of boilie out really quickly by using a throwing stick. So looking at how to use the throwing stick, first we're going to look at how to hold it. Now you can see at the bottom you've got a nice neoprene cover and what that's for is nice grip to stop the boilie stick from slipping out your hands because you're putting quite a lot of force into it. Now I tend to use it one-handed unless I'm going long range. So for one-handed, I take my prominent hand because I'm right-handed, wrap my hand around and get a good grip. Now I want to leave just a little bit at the bottom because what this does means that you've got really good control over the throwing stick. Now if I'm going a lot further and I want to use two hands, I just move that hand up the throwing stick, add my left hand at the bottom and then I get a double grip and in this one I can come straight over the top and put loads of power into the stick. So let's look at how to load the throwing stick. It's very simple, nearly all throwing sticks load at the end and all you do is simply take your boilie drop it in and allow it to fall to the base of the handle. So let's take a quick look at the position of how I stand when using the throwing stick. You want to keep yourself nice and steady, nice and firm on the ground. So because I'm right-handed, I have my left foot a little bit forward and my right foot back, which gives me really good balance. One of the things to pay attention to when using the throwing stick is all about rhythm. So if you're in a comfortable position, your arm comes back to the same spot and comes forward to the same spot every single time, you will learn to become more accurate. So a couple of little tips for when you're using the throwing stick to get you nice and accurate, but also keep you in a great rhythm when using one. First thing is bait. Now, obviously, you're going to need to be able to get the boilie with your left hand. You don't want to be changing position all the time because you won't get into a good rhythm and your boilies will end up all over the place. So a good thing for your bait is a dedicated boilie pouch that goes around your waist that you can fill with boilie. And very simply, without even looking, you can drop your hand into it, grab a bait into the end of your throwing stick and get it out. So there we go, that is how to use a throwing stick. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you've got any questions or anything you wanna see us cover in our how-tos, just drop it in the comment box below.